So our last one talking is race eight. As I said, it's the chase qualifier, leg seven. Two miles and two furlongs at 0 to 110. So top shelf, Craig Beckwith's our top weight and favourite. Valmina tape for David Robinson, monumental man against Paul Rhodes. I Gloin chimes for Pontypool Racing, Crawl Field for Alex Cherry, Media Agency for Paul Rhodes, Damage Control for Josh Sutherland, Rival for Darren Thompson, Admiral Escoli for Martin Needham, Henry Klein for James Shea, Blue Dawn for Stu Gray, and Even Soul for Alex Cherry. Four places to qualify. Start has gone on more weight and damage control. Good start there. He had a length and a half on the field straight off. So he's reluctantly leading. He should have maybe started towards the rear. So it's damage control over his head as they come to the first of the 14. Not get over it. Another one that's alongside his even soul but doesn't want to take it up either. And then you've got media agency in the green silks. In fact, everybody's taking a hold here as we go through the trees. Even soul. Finally settles and takes it up as it comes to the big open ditch. Jumps it well. This is a remainder, so it's even sold at these. Blue Dorf jumps himself into second. Out wide is Henry Crime. Josh Sutherland's horse. Media agency is just, sorry, damage control is just tucked up towards the fence now. So they're through three. As it comes to the fourth, it's going to be even sold that's still going to lead this one. Henry Crime and Blue Dorf. And you've got to help you on trying to call. To the big open ditch. Oh, we've lost one. It's two have gone. Blue Daub and Rival. Down um, Thompson and myself. Who's their horses? They won't be qualifying. Back to the front. It's Even Soul that leads us by about four to Henry Crime in second. Damage Control is third. And then Grey Admiral is going on the inside of Aigloin Chimes at Ground Clutterbuck. A couple of full rows horses in the green silks with the yellow star, Monumental Madness, and Media Agency. Widest of all is Caulfield for Alex Cherry. Some slow jumps there. There's now we the Tate and Top Shelf for top weights in the race towards the rear. So they're going over six now. And still even soul that leads us. Drop downhill here. About six, seven length advantage, but he's having a hold now. He gets over the seventh, so half the fences are done. And a mistake at the rear by Top Shelf, but it's even soul. From this stable mate Caulfield. Henry Crime. Almina takes moved up into fourth now. Then you've got Howdy Lowen Chimes still running wide. Why does the media agency? And the grey, damage control. Admiral Scully. Sorry, Admiral Scully is the grey. Damage control is the Josh Sutherland horse. Against the fence is Valmina Tate. And so pushing through there is Paul Rose's other runner. Monumental Madness. Just a rear is top shelf for Great Beckwith. So with a mile left to travel, even so, still taking a hold again. We'll go off too soon. Aiglion Chimes has moved into second now, but taking another hold. A tactical race this. Get to the eighth. We'll get over that well. We'll the slowest top shelf. We're much closer order now. First to last is probably only around about eight, nine lengths. And it's even so as we go through the trees. From media agencies moved into second. Monumental, uh, monumental Madness is third as they go to the ninth as Ditch and all over that as well. And we've got a poor jump there by Aigloin Chimes for Grand Class Park on the near side. But it's even so, still leads them over the tenth but being joined now. We've lost another one there. Henry Crime's gone for James Shea, unlucky. So even so, still just leads from media agencies. Looks comfortable. Then you've got Valmina Tate and damage controls against another open ditch. They'll get over that. Towards the rear now is Caulfield, but it's even so still leading as we come down to the final half mile. And it's even so from damage control, media agency. Monumental madness, Iglo and chimes on the inside. The grey Admiral is Scully, Balmina Tate. Top shelf's got a bit closer order now. And Caulfield's just the one at the rear, but inside the three. And it's still even so with just a couple left to jump and it's even so leading by about four from Avio and chimes coming back again. Oh, slow jump by the leader. We still got away from it well, so it's even so. By about three from Aguilio and Chimes is a bigger slow again the leader over it, so we just want to jump. It's even so being joined now by Aguilio and Chimes on the wide outside is the top way, top shelf, the favourite monumental man. This is Aguilio and Chimes that takes it up over the last, but took a dive and then it's Aguilio and Chimes. Here comes Monument Damage Control, Monumental Monumental Madness. And it's Monumental Man is from Damage Control, but over the top here comes Top Shelf, but no, Damage Control just pushes through and it's Damage Control. Control from Top Shelf, Monumental Madness, I think Media Agency. Monumental Madness is a bit of a tough tongue twister to say. Fast. Sorry about that one, Paul. But it is Josh Sutherland, just hangs on to it. From Top Shelf in second. They were joint favourites. They were joint uh, top people.
So damage control takes it from top shelf Greg back with Monumental Man and Miss Paul Rhodes and Media Range to be third and fourth. And Val Mina Tate for David Robertson was fifth. And now we'll move away from the mud in Torton and I'll join you over at Newbury.